All right, y'all, how you doing? So in this video, we're gonna show you a dual circuit way on how to wire up headlights on your off-road lawnmower, racing lawnmower, or even a grass cutting lawnmower. So to start off with, we're gonna look at the on-off switch version. This is a wiring diagram I drew out in school in pencil, which might be a little hard to see, but you should be able to see perfectly fine. So your lights are obviously right here. You got your positive, your negative here. So what you're gonna do is for your on-off switch, you're gonna run your negative to one end of the switch and then attach the other end to ground. For your positive, you can either run your positive here directly to the alternator, or you can run it off the battery right here. The choice is yours. Wiring it up directly to the alternator will ensure zero chance of you uh, draining your battery, but then again, wiring it directly to the battery will eliminate the getting brighter and dimmer as you rev up your engine. So this wire here, the red one, that goes to your battery and that has a diode on it. The orange one, this is for your headlights. So I'm gonna connect this wire up to the positive wire, which is the brown right there. I'm gonna correct, connect that up directly to that and then run ground up to the switch. And here's the wiring diagram for a on, off, on switch or a three position switch. And when I say three position, I mean this. This is the way I have wired it on my off-road lawnmower. So what you're gonna do is, is you got your lights right here, you got your positive wire up here, and your negative wire, run that directly to ground. I just kinda drew off the side to make it a little bit simple. This is your starter motor, you see your solenoid and all that. So basically, run your positive wire up to the center part of your three position switch, and attach a small wire to the battery side of the starter solenoid, run that to one side of the switch, and then run the wire coming from the alternator to the other side of the switch. Now the way I have mine wired up is when you flip the switch down, the headlights run directly off of the alternator. When you flip it up, it runs directly off the battery. And obviously when you put it in the center, it cuts a circuit, cutting the lights off. So you can either do choice A or choice B. Wiring it up the dual circuit way is a little bit on the extreme side, but when I was at the parts store, I was originally gonna get the on off switch. But when I got it and took it back home, I didn't realize it, but it was a three position switch and it'll still work fine if you hook it in. I mean, as a simple on off switch, but I like to use my imagination and I like bells and whistles and all that stuff. So that's why I decided to wire it up this way. If you do choose to wire it up this way, it works. Also, another little neat feature with this thing is that when you flip it on the alternator side, if you're at low RPM, uh, the lights will be dimmer. And when you flip it to the battery side, no matter what RPM you're at, your lights are gonna be on full brightness. So you, you can technically have a low and high beam. So up is connected to the battery, down is connected to the alternator, which can only be activated when the engine is running. Here you can see my wires all clustered together and that runs down to the starter solenoid, which is right there. All plugs in right there, runs over directly. High beam, I mean, yeah, that that gives out some light right there. Uh, low beam, aka the alternator one, 
doesn't really give out too much light, but you know, I can have it as like a running light, you know, if I'm going 90 miles an hour on the road. Um, and then full on bright, if I'm gonna be riding through the trails. Or if you wanna wire, so hopefully you got some useful information out of this on how to wire your headlights in a three position pattern, like on my mower. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, you know the drill. Click all the other buttons that YouTubers say to click. If you didn't like this video, click on thumbs down twice because two is better than one. Three more doesn't work. And yeah, y'all should see me in the next one.